Welcome to the first episode of Aptera in the News. This will be a weekly roundup of news featuring Aptera. I will also go over tweets and social media posts from Aptera as well. If you like this idea, hit the like and subscribe button right now to let YouTube know it's worth sharing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do so now by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. The first article we'll be looking at today was written by Gustavo Enrique Rufo for InsideEVs.com. The title is, Aptera EV can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 3 seconds. In the article, Gustavo linked our video post of the Denver Electric Vehicle Council webinar, so that's pretty awesome. The article highlights the super fast acceleration of Aptera as well as its ability to float. Gustavo also goes over Aptera's projected production schedule and some other recently released information. The next article is by Elena Gorgon, who writes for AutoEvolution.com. The title is, Solar-Powered Aptera Will Float Last a Lifetime. In the article, Elena goes over Aptera CTO Nathan's, CTO Nathan's professional background and highlights some of the unique benefits of owning an Aptera solar EV. She also highlights Aptera's forward-thinking approach of integrating biodegradable components where it makes sense, as well as the fact that Aptera fully supports right to repair. Our next story is a very interesting one coming out of mjbizdaily.com where Kristen Nichols interviews Aptera CTO Nathan Armstrong about the use of hemp in the automotive industry. The title of that article is Canada's Role in Making Hemp Viable in Car Building. Q&A with Aptera's Nathan Armstrong. There, they discuss the material properties of hemp, the traditional shortcomings of using hemp in auto manufacturing, and what Aptera is doing differently, which might make hemp viable for production going forward. This article is a very good read and worth checking out. For our last article, we're going back to Inside EVs. The article is Gordon Murray commits to do for EVs what he's done for supercars. This one is also by Gustavo. This article is about Formula One designer, Gordon Murray inspired T27 ultra compact EV concept. Aptera gets a small mention because although it is very efficient, it is only a two-seater, while the T27 promises to fit three passengers. These are obviously two very different vehicles when it comes to performance, as Aptera beats the T27 on every other metric. Links to all these articles can be found in the description below the video. Taking a look at Twitter now, Aptera has been very quiet this week with no new posts, but they did post a few replies to other user posts that are worth taking a look at. The first tweet comes from user Tony Rusi, who asks, My friend Jen Esser is making a documentary film on the Fen treasure hunt. I'd like to meet him in mid-June in Yellowstone with an Aptera camper. Can this be arranged? I'll pay anything reasonable to rent it for 14 days. To which Aptera responds, Hi Tony, sounds like a great adventure. We do not yet have any vehicles available for rent for a road trip, but we would love to circle back to this idea in the future. This post sort of implies that Aptera is looking at a future rental program, so maybe this is a hint of things to come. But most likely the earliest this option would be available would be somewhere around 2023, considering that there is a pretty significant backlog of orders to be fulfilled. Next, we have Tyler Perkins asking, Hey Aptera Motors, how's Soul coming along? Smiley face, hee hee, so excited. Aptera responds, Hi Tyler, pretty exciting week over here. Soul has safely arrived in San Diego and is almost ready for the big debut. All we have to say is, we think you'll like what you see. Then there's a little wink emoji, followed by stay tuned. I gotta say, I'm also excited to see the Soul and perhaps see what changes have been made from the current Noir Alpha prototype. Next, we have Josh asking, Aptera Motors, how is it in the snow? To which Aptera Motors replied, Hi Josh, Aptera handles beautifully in the snow and ice. We are designing specifically for a lot of colder climates. The Aptera will have a full climate control system capable down to minus 20 degrees and up to 125 degrees Fahrenheit with a sandwich core composite body. We also had Aptera sending out well wishes to Aptera Ambassador Rex after he posted an image of himself after a recent scooter accident. We wish you well too, Rex. Hope you'll be back at 100% soon. Last but not least, we have Elliot asking, 
At Aptera Motors, will you open another round of investing? The reply from Aptera is, Hi Elliot, our goal is to open up another round of investment in the next few months. You can add your name to our interest list here and we'll reach out when opportunities are available. This post has a link on it which sends you to the Aptera website. I will post the link to the investor email sign up page below in the description of this video. I can't wait to participate in the next funding round. Hopefully, Aptera will raise enough funds to bring some hemp looming machines to the US or Canada to help speed up the production process. That's all the updates I have for this week. Lots of great things to look forward to from Aptera very soon. If you like this new weekly news roundup, drop me a like and leave a comment letting me know what you think. Don't forget, you can also leave a voicemail at 855-4-REBOOT, that's 855-473-2668. And don't forget, we can use your support, so visit us at patreon.com forward slash reboot or at apterareboot.com to pick up some merch. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.